it's just one of these sifter things, a kitchen sifter, but it works really super well. Got some watermelon happening right here. And over here, we've got wheat grinding into flour. That's amazing. I feel like such the homemaker. Such a homemaker when I've uh, been grinding my own wheat, even if it's with just plugging it in. Pancakes. <laughs> Are you excited? Is this your favorite food? Yeah! <laughs> so I made whole wheat pancakes. Okay. They're looking good. About ready to flip them. I made them with the brown. <laughs> Are you ruining that, people? Just loving that. And then this bin is interesting. Inside of this bin. Oh, do we need to make you a new one? Yeah. Inside of this bin right here that Charlie loves are a whole bunch of dishes. And I've gotten to a point where I'm like, you know what? All these years I've been like collecting things and trying to <laughs> make my house a home or whatever. Um, and I'm to a point where I'm like, no, I think it's time to get rid of things. Like I, I don't need 20 plates in the house. We only really need, you know, a few, pla six plastic ones and and six like glass ones and that's all we need you know we don't need more than that and then we've got paper plates for if we ever have guests if we ever have like a huge dinner then maybe i can have them bring their own glass plates like a thanksgiving dinner or something like that anyways i'm just trying to kind of simplify my life because this is always happening and i don't want it to always happen and this is like my own house, finally, and I'm like, well, I want to keep it nice. I want to make it beautiful and have it stay that way, you know? So, I'm trying to simplify so that I have less to clean all the time. This is incredible. I didn't even know that he could do this. Check it out. Pancakes, don't you? Yeah. So we um, cut it like a pizza today. Is it yummy, Ellie? Yeah. And we yeah. all got milk. 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 Yep. Mommy, Lucky look. you. Mommy, look. Ollie has most. Okay. Uh, good job. <laughs> and you get to eat little pieces look of watermelon. Ollie. Yay! Look at Ollie's Corbin. Tiny, tiny pieces. Mm -hmm. Guys, I have to tell you about something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in my closet. I'm finally getting around to organizing this huge box of just bathroom stuff. Little toiletry stuff. I don't know. I just found something that I have decided that I need to do. It's probably been 15 years. Throughout that whole 15 years, all of the moving I've ever done, I've kept this thing, but I've never organized it. <laughs> or gone through it. Anyways, I'm organizing all my jewelry here and I have this bag, this bag of stuff. I think it's 15 years old from like the time I was, no, 16, cause it was when I was 10 that I started getting my first jewelry. Throughout the years, it's kind of like broken and fallen apart and 
I've just kind of added to this little stash of like broken jewelry that I was like, well, one day I'll probably need that because I won't have any money to buy new stuff. It probably grew until about when I was a senior in high school and then I just started a new bag and like a new thing full of jewelry <laughs> and I don't know why but I think it's because it has like sentimental value that I haven't been able to just get rid of it or go through it so I'm gonna go through it today and I'm gonna get rid of junk and it makes me happy yeah <laughs> there's the old watch very pretty but it doesn't work and it has a crack in the screen getting rid of it I want to see the clock in the screen. And here's another old watch that I used to have. Interesting jewelry memories here. This is from a photo shoot that I did in high school. Somebody asked me to be a model for real pearls for girls. And I still have it from when I was 16. And then this is probably one of the first pieces of jewelry that I was really sad that it broke. It used to have a black beaded chain with it and it was a necklace. I got it from my boyfriend in elementary school and he was from South Africa and it was just so like I just remember being like wow this is probably authentic from South Africa and it's amazing and he really loves me. <laughs> it didn't work out but I still like I still just think it's a really cool little thing. I, s I love you Michael. And then look, this is a tiny pocket knife that I could stick on my keychain now to defend myself. How nice. But isn't that cool? Hello. Looks like Grandpa's here. Yeah. That's all right. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll only be here for a little while. <laughs> until until he can't stand me no more. Huh. That's for me. He came to visit. He's lonely because my mom and everybody else in the family is gone besides him. So he decided he wanted to go to a buffet. I had, had to take uh, Shinoe and Jared over to Stevens. Yeah. And I, I felt like I was in everybody's way because they were trying to get everything all packed. And I'd be, I'd be standing in the hall and next thing I knew I had Maddie waiting for me to get out of the way and then Stephen was waiting for me to get out of the way and so I kept thinking, hmm, I need to get out of here or I might get run over. <laughs> and I am done organizing my closet. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to show you guys my closet because I'm kind of proud of it right now. Looks pretty amazing to me. This is the first time that I have ever had organized jewelry ever in my entire life so check it out this is all my jewelry i have these hook things that i've put up here and all of my necklaces even the ones that i'm never gonna wear but that are like maybe for ellie to wear or play with <laughs> but all of my necklaces are up here and then also this stuff i figured out myself and i think that i did a pretty good job so this has all of my stud earrings on it it's just one of these sifter things a kitchen sifter but it works really super well i like it Whoosh, oh, through the camera and then here i've got all of my hangy dangly earrings for holidays and everything and same thing just on a bigger sifter thing and i think it's awesome I think it's so awesome. I've never been this organized with my jewelry. It's like a breath of fresh air, you know, it's something that's gonna help me organize better in the future. <sighs> I'm excited, I'm excited. Oh, and look, got my closet all unpacked, finally. It was all boxes over here and bins and all sorts of crap. <laughs> but now it's all organized and all my clothes are hung up, except for up there, don't look up there. It's all organized! <laughs> but no, I, I'm feeling good. We're making glow in the dark slime. Let's keep playing with it until it starts. We're gonna see if it glows. I'm glad we added green and yellow because the pink really overpowers it, I think. Well, we had some fun tonight. This Ooh, is some glow, glow in, in the, the dark. Glow check in it the out. Dark. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check some it. Some glow check in the dark it, check it, slime. Check it, check it. Boys stayed up late with us. It's almost 11 ni at night. It's almost wow. 11 p.m. And the boys have stayed up late with us making glow-in-the-dark slime. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! Did you, James? I liked it because I looked at Mom and she, I said, 
Whoa, that's cool. I want to copy here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, ready for me to show you? I'm ready. Let's do it. Wow, mine is super cool. Isn't that amazing, guys? Wasn't that awesome? That was so cool. It, it took a minute for the camera to adjust, and then it brightened it? up really, really bright. Really? It was cool. Good. I, I just feel like I want to keep doing it. Like, I want to keep putting it in the light. And, and do then, it over and over yeah. and over. <laughs> and he is a brand new student here, and this is his second day, and so he earned his white belt. Everybody clap for James.